Hello everyone, this is Mitchell. Today I'm gonna give a walkthrough of this van here, the four x four extended length van named Roadrunner. We just purchased Roadrunner back from its previous owner. It just returned last week. We're in the process of doing the quality control on it, but it is available. So today I'm gonna give you a look at this van. We'll start with the outside here. I'll walk around the van and show you a defining feature of Roadrunner, and that is that the owner, the original owner, wanted to maximize ground clearance with this van. The only things hanging down from the sides are the entry steps, the hydraulic levelers, which we did a special installation for so they rest a little higher. And then this exterior utility section where you would dump your gray and black tanks. The lowest point of this van is right here and it's still nine and a half inches off the ground. Another way that we maximized ground clearance with this vehicle was that you can see that there's no fresh tank on this passenger side underneath like there usually would be on a build. The freshwater tank, the 40 gallon freshwater tank for this build is on the inside of the van within one of the bed enclosures. So we'll take a look inside in a second, but know that that's another way that this build has maintained its ground clearance. This is actually the fresh water fill right here. This feeds directly into that tank. Another benefit to having the tank on the inside is that um, it's warmer on the inside of the van. So usually we do insulate the tanks and heat them, but that's just another level having it inside the van. Spare tire rack in the back. And then again, this is utility here. There's your black valve, your gray valve there. Still on the outside here, you can see that this van is equipped with an awning. You can also see keyless entry and the camera system. This, is, this has a 360 camera setup as well as lights. Those are motion activated or um, you can toggle them on and off yourself. We did hydro graphics for the trim in this van, so you can see that Roadrunner has this finish here. This is a 2020 advanced RV build on a 2019 Mercedes-Benz chassis. So in the 2019 model year was the first year that they introduced this upgraded um, infotainment system is what they call it. It's got Apple CarPlay, uh, GPS, stereo on this bigger screen here. Another aspect of the new generation of Sprinter was that they upgraded the seats big time. So again, 2019 chassis, 2020 advanced RV build, and the chassis has around 12,000 miles on it, if I'm not mistaken. Again, we did a special step installation here that sits up higher off the ground and it deploys upon opening the slider door. You'll notice this van has a unique look. Um, 
a lot of different aspects to that book. One is that its floor is a cork material. Here on the outside, this is a table that is able to be used if you're outside the van, maybe you have the awning deployed and you can prepare food on this that folds down. Um, you have an outlet here as well as a 12 volt and uh, you can set up a, a cooktop out here or anything really, especially with that awning deployed. And this cabinet passes through to the galley as well. As you can see the galley front cabinet opens up and you can load in groceries from this side or even just access it. So let's enter the van. One thing that you'll notice is that we've installed a illuminated stage step here. The stage step allows you to swivel these seats and still have a somewhat elevated platform for your feet to rest. There's a deployable desk on the driver's side and on the passenger side, um, you might also use this table mount, which I'll show you in a second to mount a lagoon table. So here is the driver's seat in its swiveled position. To deploy the desk, you simply fold it out of this wall. It's attached by a magnet into the wall and then it folds again like that. It's got a light in there as well. Here you can see the complete front to back view of Roadrunner wardrobe here. So this is the wardrobe. It's got a bar for hanging on top. These shelves are adjustable. You can put them at any point up and down the sides there. At the bottom, you can see that there's storage. This is the componentry of a lagoon table, which is easy to set up. It's got the tabletop, obviously, and then uh, an arm, and then the mounting uh, post. The mounting post can go in a variety of places. It can go on this receiver, so that both front seats can use the table. And then in the rear, it can go on this receiver as well. Moving beyond the wardrobe, you can see that this is a microwave here. It is an induction microwave. You've got a fridge and freezer unit. Novacool brand. The freezer is a drawer style. On the passenger side here, you can see this. This is the control for the hydraulic leveling system. So it's a remote. You can remove it from this post and operate it from outside of the vehicle. You can both manually control individual jacks or you can have them automatically deploy for um, complete level. Continuing to move down, this here is the, what we call the Silverleaf control panel. Essentially, it's a touchscreen interface um, that controls all of the integrated systems in the van, from battery to water to interior coach climate, etc. So this would be part of your training if, if you decided to take this van. Um, it's pretty simple to operate, but the main things that you would use these for on your trips are um, monitoring the batteries as well as um, your climate and your water. This genset menu is the feature implemented in the computer system that will start your sprinter engine in high idle to charge the batteries. So if you're at a campground and you can't drive or you don't have access to shore power, you can still charge your batteries with this. Here's the kitchen galley. Some main points of interest are this sink here. 
the inset stove top here. Coffee maker that slides out. And then these two huge drawers here. Sorry to get a feel for the size. I mean, that's probably a foot deep. This is hidden next to the fridge, but it's a ground to almost ceiling pantry there. This is a split door bathroom, which means that by using this latch here, you can have only the lower half be um, closed, the upper half open, and with the upper half open, the shower curtain can extend outward. The curtain can come all the way around out here and you can have some elbow room into the aisleway. You're not feeling cramped inside of the bathroom. Beyond that, it's got a toilet, shower, sink, and storage within the sink. That's a medicine cabinet there. Looking at this multiplex switch, it also looks like there's floor heat within the bathroom. Continuing on, you can see that at the ceiling here, you have a max fan, as well as the air conditioner there. One thing I'll often do is I'll open up the windows when I sleep and get the max fan going and it creates a gust near uh, your head as you sleep, cools you down. Here we are in the bedroom. These are twin articulating beds controlled via these remotes. So. Take a look at the controls there. Here I am deploying the head of the driver's side bed. So there is the head of the bed fully deployed. By pressing flat, it'll make the bed flat again. In addition to the head, you can also control the pillow, which is at the very top in the foot of the bed as well. This driver's side bed is a full length bed from headboard to the end there, it's 75 inches. So uh, six foot, three inches. This passenger side bed has an additional length here that makes the total 82 inches. So just under seven feet long. In between the two beds, you can see that there's this rail system here what that allows is for this center insert here to fold across its hinge and rest in between the two beds, allowing for a continuous sleeping space. This is completely removable as well. At the base of the beds, there is a lot of storage. Uh, this opens up this slides out this opens up this opens up and then there's open space underneath the rear side of this driver's side bed Also in the bedroom, you can see that we've installed speakers as part of the theater system in the back. You can play music or movies through those, any kind of sound. Um, and then it should go without saying that there is cabinetry all above.
This is the largest cabinet in the bedroom here. A lot of folks put their bedding in here, for example. This one also has these latches that open it up to the rear. And with a magnet, you can keep this open. So any really large items, you can pass through this and go into the, um, the rear trunk area, which I'll show you in a second. But this is a, a wide open space in this cabinet. In terms of audio and video, this is a HD TV with a Pioneer head unit there. Within the AV cabinet here, you can see that there's a wine guard which allows you to watch television. Above, there's a, a track vision which is a satellite and then also this Sony um, smart TV. I believe that allows you to stream in addition to play movies and such. As you can see, I can pull the TV out so that when the cabinet is open, you can fling the TV around and watch from the swiveled seats in the front. These shelves in the rear, they have USB charging. It's a place for your phone or your glasses as you sleep. And then you can see behind that is the crank for the awning. If you were to deploy it manually. Here is one more look at the front cab. Like I was saying earlier, this 2019 and beyond generation, Mercedes really added a lot to this front cab from controls on the steering wheel to the um, entertainment screen to the seats. Here's the van from the rear. Here's a look at that rear storage. As you can see there is the freshwater tank enclosure down there. So that's where your fresh water will be. On this side, on the driver's side, that is your inverter. Because this van is an extended length Sprinter, you have this extra trunk box storage all throughout the rear. We've got tools for you there. Looks like a jack there. And a lot of folks keep their shore power cord back here as well. This top cabinetry, this is the exterior access to that rear overhead cabinet that we showed earlier. That is where you would access that. So that's Roadrunner in a nutshell. Um, just a short tour, but I hope it conveyed the character of the van on um, both the inside and then the practicality of it as well. Um, this van's got a lot of ground clearance. There's a four by four. It can take you to some special places. So as always, anything else that we didn't cover in this video, you can ask the team and we'd be happy to show more photos or just answer some questions. So hope you enjoyed. Take care.